no one really knew they knew i mean there's only 10 beds in the burn unit in british columbia at that time like it's a 10 worst burn so we knew i'm pretty banged up obviously yeah but they don't know kind of to what degree so i come out of the anesthetic from that first debridement and then the doctor says you know you're obviously very lucky this could have been a lot worse um you're 40 percent second third degree burns like you're going to need a lot of grafting you're going to be in here for a while so how old are you and so i'm 19 almost 20 okay so in my head i'm 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 wrapped like a money mummy i can't move and this doctor's laying this you know uh this information to me and and i said well i've camp in in three and a half months or whatever so this is in like a end of april yeah. and we have camp in like start of september right or even before that yeah august end of august yeah and uh i'll never forget his his face he kind of just froze and it was like one of this poor kid thinks he's going to be playing hockey in a in a few months and he's like listen these recoveries take years not not months wow. he's like you're not going to be playing hockey in a in a few months here uh maybe in a couple years we'll look to get you in a pair of skates in a non-competitive environment kind of thing uh but let's just focus on your recovery it's you're going to be in here for a while and it's going to be a long road and that was the dialogue and so my career was over at at that moment i'm like okay i mean i was just happy i was going to make a full recovery yeah right um but i was also on the other hand you know that identity gets taken away from you and it's like okay what am i going to do with my life now 